Mm-hmm. That boy said, damn girl, you so gorgeous. Boy bye. Go home. society we are back at it again with another video welcome back welcome back welcome back first of all i want to thank everybody for tuning into this video if you are new to the thrive society welcome join the gang like comment and subscribe only if you love this video and you look forward to seeing more each and every wednesday i'm here to review and find things near you and that's on period okay ignore my nails i know i didn't get them done but that's okay guys i'm on my way to the mall one of the greatest malls that i feel like is amazing um they have a variety of nice upscale low scale downscale they have a big variety of stores whether you are rich or poor you can shop there i'm telling you right now okay so we're going to go to sawgrass mills mall i think that's what it's called sometimes i call it sawgrass mall but technically it's called sawgrass mills and it's a vibe to me it's a vibe so i'm gonna give y'all like a mini tour i'm gonna make sure not to bore y'all out because i know it can get boring to watch a tour but this video is not gonna be boring and i guarantee you that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get it so we made it to sawgrass as you can see per big Y'all, I done took off my seatbelt and all, but I really want to park near the food court because I am starving. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I done found a parking right in the front. God is good. We are here. I'm trying to go in and out. Hopefully I do. Hopefully I don't spend too much money. So let's go on this journey, y'all. Let's go. Oh, not the Tesla. As y'all can see, this is outdoors. This is only a part of Sawgrass Mills, okay? This is where you have the more upscale stores. As you can see across the street, where is it? We have a Jimmy Choo, yes ma'am. And then you have a Fendi over here. And you just have really, you know, luxury vibes. I know a lot of people talk about, you know, Aventure Mall is a dope place to go to, which it is, but this just hits different because you have both outdoor and indoor. And it's separated in such a clean and nice way. The Gucci store always has a line. And of course, y'all see the wide selection. It's a vibe. And y'all on that side, you got Prada, very much so. You have Kate Spade. There's a Coach store. There's a Burberry or Burberry, however you say it. But personally, I love the fact that, you know, you could shop within your budget here. Like if you want you a little $100 purse on sale. You can go to Tory Burch, Kate Spade, Coach. But if you want to ball out, turn up, go to Louis Vuitton, Prada. Okay? Ooh. See, this is my type of vibe. That's something I would wear. Now, within this outdoor area, you also have a lot of high class, nice restaurants, um, such as the Grand Lux Cafe, Smashbox, Villaggio right across from me right here and typically during christmas they have like a whole bunch of ornaments and they dress it up super cute they have a waterfall like it's super nice <laughs> They are doing a, some construction over here y'all as y'all can see but this is only one of the entrances i'll definitely show y'all the main entrance but i love how these cute little big tent things are above us and then of course you have your michael kors vibe and there's rainforest cafe but as y'all see rainforest cafe is such a vibe they have one in Orlando, and I know they have some in multiple areas too, if I'm not mistaken, but I love it. Like, I love eating here. I'm not gonna say the food is the best because I've tried the food before and it's not the best, but it's all right. But it's an aesthetic. Oh my God, not the snake. I'm weak. <laughs> nah, this is dope, y'all. This 
is an experience, especially if you have kids. Oh my God, y'all, they have a Carlos Bakery Express. Wow, it's literally a vending machine for the famous Carlos Bakery. And if you know me, you know that I love his show. Now y'all, I really need to find like a brown top because for my cousin, we're doing like a all brown mocha latte dinner. It's gonna be a bougie vibe. And then we're gonna do some earrings. So I might have to be stopping at a few different stores. Even though I'm an online shopper, I need something ASAP, okay? Okay, this is store number one. This is called Q. I never heard of it, but it looks like they have, it look like it's like a mad rag vibe. If y'all have ever heard of mad rag or rainbow, but a little bit more of scale. So I'm gonna see what they have y'all. Cause I don't want to spend buku money on something that I'm not going to wear for many times. I want to at least spend my money on something that is cute. And they, see, this is cute for the price. That's cute. Oh, this is literally like a warehouse. I can't keep up. Like, I can't. <laughs> wow, I don't even know where to look, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is huge. I'm about to go to the sales rack, though, and see what they got. Because that's where you always want to look at the sales rack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not the Louis Vuitton dupes. <laughs> let me walk. Let me walk out of here. Let me, let me go. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie y'all, but these are super cute. Okay, this is what I found. I don't know what y'all think, but I have like, I have a skirt that could match these, but I'm like, I'm not a fan of these actual tops. I think I'll probably wear like a white vest with them. I don't know y'all, I don't know. We about to, I'm about to go back and look at the regular section, but this is from the sales section. This is all I could find. I love everything except for their dupes. Like, come on now. Come on, I hope people not actually buying these dupes. And if y'all are, I'm highly upset. Oh, but wait a minute. This is cute. All right, y'all, so I ended up getting a top. I put it in my purse because I'm gonna wear it one of these days and it was mad cute. So now I am hungry, y'all. So let's go find the food court because I'm starving. Don't you understand? Y'all, this is dope. They have something called COVID Basics. And it's literally bedazzled masks and custom made shields. Okay. They have a Dick Sporting Goods flat dab in the middle. Because a lot of people like to come here and buy sportswear. And then they have this custom made kiosk where you can get anything custom made. I once got a Sniper Gang shirt from them. And it's actually really good quality. We are at the food court my favorite place of all because i love food and i'm gonna see what options i want because they have what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten restaurants and they have chicken and cone coming soon okay hello give me one second oh it's hot that's all you get you don't get any more because you you're not a can I have a little bit more? Don't be shy, put some more. Put some more. Come on, don't be shy, put some more. They tried to finesse me, and I don't like getting finesse and feeling finesse, but I got my little hot, quick little Chinese meal. You can never go wrong with Chinese. People staring at me because I'm talking to myself, but I'm not, I'm about to eat, period. Let's see y'all. Uh, they tried it he didn't give me enough food and you see i'm thick you see i'm thick or you see i'm trying to get thick and they about to close too i don't like when they do that they trying to take home they trying to take food home to their kids don't play with me okay hi are you closed no 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 you're open? Yeah. I want a smoothie. I want a smoothie. Uh, you're from the Ah, no, no. I got like my smoothie. Mm. Now I'm gonna go to the opposite side of the mall because clearly this side is choosing to close early, which I don't understand. I mean, oh my God, y'all. I love the fact that people are really getting into these vending machines for their businesses. This is called Glamnetic Instant Magnetic Lashes and Press-On Nails. Okay. 
I'm gonna check out the prices for the nails. Just to get a idea. Why it's not working? Oh. $15, $22. See, these prices are actually really not bad at all. Okay, I was gonna get it, y'all, but that's dead. Cause I really don't wanna have to deal with glue and putting glue on my nails. I'd rather just go to the nail salon. I don't wanna take a chance. Cause these nails, they say they nice. I need somebody to try it before I try it. I'm probably gonna go on YouTube, do a little bit of research, then maybe come back and then try it out. They also have this place to flat iron your hair. And then they have this handbag station. $11.99 everything. Okay. One thing for sure, whoever my future man is, if it's not an actual Birkin, but it look like a Birkin, just don't get it at all. Just don't get it. Like, just don't get it. <laughs> I see y'all, they have like a Dr. Show's looking place that customizes comfort things for your feet that's dope and then they have their bradley converse a swarovski that's how i say it and these cute little shades then of course you know they have victoria's secret banana republic mm -hmm. that boy said damn girl you so gorgeous boy bye go home Right here you have American Eagle and Under Armour. These things my parents are obsessed with because you can literally get people. I'm sure y'all have seen this before, but it's just a dope concept. Wow, y'all, I wish I would have seen this place before I went to this, this place. They have gelato, smoothies, and they're still open. Dang, I'm mad, whatever. This is dope. They have like an Avengers themed photo booth. Okay. I love me some Forever 21. Okay. $12, two piece sets. Oh, now they snap. They snap. Hold up, wait a minute. So y'all, as y'all can see, this is a big behind mall. You got a brand smart, a freaking Target. Okay, Burlington of Regal Cinemas. But we are right here. I have to get all the way over here. <laughs> Wish me luck. officially leaving oh my god the lighting is not giving outside <laughs> y'all it is dark okay i'm gonna pray god to keep me safe in these streets but i love to hear i love it here every time i come here it's a vibe especially when i come here with family and stuff but like i said this is my first time here by myself and i enjoy myself like actually being able to eat even though they tried it and being able to walk around and see the entire mall and shop a little, vibe a little bit. You know, sometimes we need to hang out with ourselves. Like a lot of people don't realize that hanging out with yourself is not a bad thing. Like it's actually a really good thing. You know, you enjoy your own company. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I don't know if it was a vibe to y'all, but it was a vibe to me as always. Every time I come here, it's always a vibe. And I really hope this tour help you get a bit more of an understanding as to what Sawgrass offers, you know, the things you might deal with, the things you might not deal with. And like the cool little kiosks that they have, like they have literally small hidden gems. Like that freaking Carlos Bakery thing, to me, hidden gem, because you can only really find that in New York. But y'all, it was a vibe, and I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you loved it, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell for more videos each and every Wednesday, I promise you. And don't forget to subscribe, comment below. Let me know what more y'all want to see here on Gigi's Thrive Guide. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time, Thrive Society.